It's Shaq Diesel, a.k.a. The Big Huffer. You're watching Home Team Hoops. That's how many I got. I gotta go hard. I mean, that's just how I was programmed from when I was little. Shout out to Home Team. Home Team Hoops. Yeah, we out here. The right way, that way. This is my time three. Shout out to Home Team Hoops. Shaq's influence is real big, huge. You know, obviously he's playing the game that his father had dominated. Sharif has told me several times, you know, I want to be better than my father. This is the only time I've worked with a kid where his father was as that dominant in that sport. I would never tell a kid, oh, you're not going to be better than your father. I encourage him to be. Here at the Expo Center, and I got a surprise phone call from Shaquille. My dad came in town. You no, know, me and Kier were already supposed to work out. My dad was like, "I'm gonna come work out with you guys." Everybody's here. We don't really work out as a family a lot, so just glad everyone's here working out. It's the first time I've actually ever worked out with my whole family at the same time. My dad, since I'm gonna be a senior, he's probably gonna be even tougher on me my last year. Then after my senior year going to college, he's probably gonna be even worse. Then going into the NBA, he's probably gonna be even worse. It just gets harder every year. You know, being so good, you already know, this foot is up, go that way. Me and you was talking one day, and you were saying that the defense is good. Look at this, if you're long enough to create that space, go and take a shot. Like, if I'm like this, and you're in the club, I go like this, I show you, you got it, right? But if I go like that, boom, you dead. That boy, game speed, you're gonna be tired. Bro, I'm watching. Come on, Kale. You're going to pass the ball right up here. Reeve, go. Let's go warm up just like that. Let's go. Good. Just like that. Perfect. Let's go. I didn't know he was actually going to start actually doing the drills. He did some of the drills. I mean, it's always fun to have my dad in the gym with us. At first, I used to hate it. He was really hard on us. I mean, he's more hard on Shakir because He's a younger one. What's in there? What's in there? Don't waste that time. Pay attention. Attack! Let's go! Again, go again! Let's go! Other way. That's outside. Inside, outside. First thing I touch you is not here. Outside, inside. Go. There you go. Shot. Shot, kid. Let's go. Same thing, Reef. Get to the rim. Get to the rim. Take off. Let's go. Let's go. Same thing. Same thing. Good. There you go. Same thing. Same thing. Let's go. Let's go. Good pull up. Let's go. Having Shaq here, it's awesome. His understanding of the game, and he's played at the highest level. There's a reason why he has a statue outside at the Stable Center. And Sharif always loves to have him in the gym as much as possible. The low post moves and the, the guidance, the mentoring, you know, is his father. You know, he always want to make his father proud, and that's what every son's dream is on top of who his father is and, you know, the, the legacy his father's created for himself. And, and Sharif tells me all the time he wants to continuously follow his footsteps. This is the time when you get better. The only thing I've been teaching you since you are little, it blows those today. It's because you're out here doing cool moves, don't get cool on your shot. Steph Curry ain't cool on his shot. Leave it up there like I taught you. And listen to James, and listen to what we're telling you how to do. You understand? Don't be doing all that cool stuff because it ain't going to work. When you shoot your shot, leave it up there until the ball hit the floor. Next person makes a mistake, I'll have to run a lap. I'm here now. All right? Let's roll.
One, two, one, two. There you go. Again, you give her the pain. One, two, there you go. Kia, go. I just now started to realize the damage he did in the NBA. I mean, I was young when he was playing. I mean, I remember some games, but just now since I'm older and I can actually comprehend it, he did a lot of damage and he knows what he's talking about. I mean, shooting advice, I mean, not really gonna listen on that because he wasn't really a shooter, but I listen. I mean, I try to keep it all in my head. Sometimes I write it down in my room. I have like a whole book in my room, all the stuff he's told me and just all the people he's told me to watch and do this, do that. I mean, I, I really listen to what he says. Good, Reef. Good left hand, let's go. Sharif works really hard during the workout. Sometimes I have to just you know, stop and give him a break. He's so dedicated, he listens. I really don't have to motivate him, understands that this is a process. Cause I'm scared that he's gonna go middle and dunk on me. So I wanna force some baseline. Swing, I'm done. Swing the left foot and go. Swing, go pull up. Shot. Left foot, left foot. There you go, Reef. Having the whole family together is a great thing. They're always together, whether it's at Sharif's games, Shakir's games, Mimi or Miara's games. You know, it's one big family unit, but to have them here working on their game and, you know, watching that development, it's a good feeling to watch, you know, a father and his kids develop their games all together. And, you know, Shaquille uh, setting an example for his kids and giving that expertise that, you know, a lot of people don't get that level of, you know, education, you know, and especially having a father of that level. That knowledge is definitely just a pleasure to watch and be around. So you know, to, uh, to My dad told me, he's like, just because I'm your dad and just because you're Shaq's son doesn't mean they're going to give you a spot in the league. I mean, I always thought just because he was my dad, I'd have it easier. But like my freshman year, I didn't really play at all after that. I was in the gym almost every day, just working hard. I mean, I know any day my spot to be taken. I know there's people that are looking to come after me and people are like, oh, he's ahead of me. I need to go after him and I just got to work every day. Go ahead, Reef. Let's go. I mean, it's always fun to have my dad in the gym with us. I mean, at first I used to hate it. He was really hard on us, but I mean, he's more hard on Shakir because he's a younger one. He's actually really hard on me, but I think all of that tough love paid off and hopefully it pays off for Shakir. When I was his age, did a lot of crying, didn't want to work out, didn't want to play basketball, but Kier's going to the ninth grade, coming to Crossroads, so I have to, me and my dad and James, everybody has to be hard on him, so just hopefully he doesn't have a freshman year like I did. I didn't have a really good freshman year. Came off the bench, I'm trying to get him to start, just keeping him in the gym constantly, just I want him to be better than I was. My youngest sister, Miara, I think she's gonna be the best one out of the family. She's 11. She's very special, she's 11 years old. She's about six feet now. She can put the ball on the floor, she can shoot, she can pass baby Lisa Leslie. She does it all. A very respectable young lady that has a very, very bright future. Mimi, she's also crazy. She, freshman year, averaged 26 points. Just hopefully she can be a, a top ranked player, just get her to the next level. Shakir, he's a shooter, dribble more of a guard. He doesn't really have the height. Getting back, jump on the face. When you do that, everybody reacts. The camera man reacts, your mama gonna react, I'm gonna react, the whole gym gonna react. You go this way, I'm gonna be over here. Now when you come back, you have a little, just a little bit of space to get it up. Make sure you look that way. Go. You silly with it. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Go. Yes. Oh, you gotta look. Do it again. Shakir is going into his freshman year at Crossroads. He's developed a lot. His shot is starting to show consistency, which is very important. He's not as tall as Sharif when he was going into high school. He's about a 5'11 right now. We're just working on his ball handling and his footwork, making plays, reading defenses, because he's going to play more of a guard as opposed to initially what Sharif was, was playing. Sharif was playing the 5 at the time. Swing that right foot, Kier. Good. That's better. That's better. Go on, Reef. Let's go.
I recently worked out with Trace McGrady, and that was probably my favorite workout out of all the gazillion workouts I've done. Just I learned a lot. Learned a lot of footwork stuff, like stuff that looks so simple that he did in the game. Just like, oh, I can do that. It just It was actually some of the hardest stuff I've ever learned, just the footwork and stuff, and just getting space and scoring, that's just made it way easier. Session four in LA, and I was trying to add some moves in there. Again? I learned a lot. I practice on those moves like every day in my room, just the footwork part, just so I can get that into my game and just have that as like a go-to move. But I learned like probably over a hundred moves and like it's just moves I've never even seen before. And I feel like they'll work. I just gotta start trying them in the game. Read it, Reef, read it. There you go. I started working out hard when I was like 15 and I was like, I'm gonna take basketball real serious. I think now it's all coming along. People have told me like over the year, I just progress and progress even more. I'm never satisfied with myself. I think me working out every day is doing something is just people can see the progression. He told me, he's like, I see what you can be. I see what's in you. So I'm just gonna be tough on you. So it's not because I hate you, it's because I want you to go to the next level. Being too fluid, I'm gonna get you in trouble. So I'm listen, just simple. And quick, ha! Huh. And then go, like you bumped him, bumped him, and ha! Huh. And then just go, like real quick. Right. Boom, boom, quick. So this is mine now. Don't swing it if you get in trouble. Just. You got to see that now? I ain't never worth time, I just used to. Like, you know, Tai Chi. Like, I go like this, what you want to do? Yeah, easy force against them. Yep. So you gotta do it. And then, see, that's why I talked to you earlier. Come in like that, they can't do nothing. Don't fight. Just be strong. There you go. Strong. Oh, you gonna dunk that? Yo, hook my left elbow. Mm. I made that mistake. I used to always practice by myself. I didn't practice with that. So if you practice with that and make with that, you can make it. Leave the defense. I keep throwing this hand. They ain't never said they couldn't call. So if you lean on it, you just throw it that way. Okay. Come on, gather this up. You're strong in there. I'm learning a lot. I just, this is stuff I've never really worked on before. I just feel like it's coming easy because he's here. I feel comfortable when my dad's here. You and your guard got to be in tune. That's why, that's why I love him. Don't be too tired. Get to look at your guard up. And then do it. Go, go. I got him, I got him, I got him. Get up, Reef. You ain't done on me. I ain't been done on twice in my whole career. You've always been Derrick Coleman. Look it up. My court you? Yeah. I know you court you. Yeah. Derrick Coleman, I know you court you. Yeah. You caught me late too, because I was, you know, I was right here, and I knew I was gonna go baseline. Like I met him here, uh -huh. and he moved that. <laughs> Derrick Coleman got me on the, just a drop step left. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too high, yeah. and then he did like this, and then the next play down, that's mine. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, was you, you did that on purpose. <laughs> they had to cancel the game. Let's go. They canceled the game? Yeah. They don't have any, they don't have any new courts? Don't get to the time. Go. 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 Let's go. 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 Let's go. Show we. You miss one, that means you gotta dunk five times. You miss two, you gotta dunk ten times again. I said do this five times a day. Did you 
six eleven, but you wanna you wanna always be able to huh? when you come back, go by your friend and go for what you know. He wants to be a McDonald's and Jordan Brand All-American player. I definitely do think that's obtainable, given his skill level. But at the end of the day, it's all how hard he works, and, and he's definitely working hard, and I definitely see that in the very near future. You know, definitely wants to play in the NBA and, you know, follow his father's footsteps and make his own path. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Reef, faster. Come on, Reef. going to Arizona, which is an awesome school, but he's made huge progression since I first got him. His ball hunting, his shooting, his decision making, defense, his timing. So right now he's just scratching the surface of what he can be. If he, he really wants it and throughout this journey so far, he's really, really shown that. He gets up and, and works on his game tirelessly and he never really asks for any shortcuts, which he really can't teach that. When you think of Shaquille, the, the everyday person will, will think dominant, basketball and his accolades on the court, they think of that. He's a very, very nice person. I think that speaks more volume. Just having conversations with him and, and how he values family and how he values his friends and giving back in charity and stuff like that, helping out our youth and his peers. And he's just a, a very loving person with a really, really good heart. Don't do that shit. <laughs> we always compete every time he's in town and in the workouts, obviously. Most of the time, it's shooting. He talks a little trash, and I talk a little trash, and him being from New Jersey and me being from New York, we make fun of each other and stuff like that. Lay up. You're a post player, dogs. James, he, he talks a lot. And my dad, he talks a lot. They usually do it every time they're around. They always talk smack to each other. Lay up. Three, one. Lay up. There ain't gonna be no comeback. He <sighs> Good night. Let's go pose him. You ready? You ready? Oh. Yeah. I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm on it. I'm on it. No bully ball. You use finesse. You you. No strength. There you go. There you go. Lay up. Lay up. Huh, you, you opened up. You backed up. You just told Reeve if he does that to you. <laughs> Open up. All right. That was the first time me guarding him. You know, watching him as a child, you know, he was very dominant. Just guarding him, he's definitely the strongest player I've ever guarded in my life. He's so strong, and I see why he's done the things in his career, because he's, he's just too big and strong for most people to be able to defend him inside that paint. First one, one. First one, two. Two? Yeah. Shakira, that's not your range. In shooting, I normally beat him in shooting contests, but you know, these past couple times in the shooting contest, I've, I've really noticed that Shaquille's shot has gotten a lot better. Steph Curry. 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 
Jeff Curry. The black Jeff Curry. He always makes shots like when it's not in a NBA game, like at home in Florida, at our house. He went 10 for 10 from the three point line one day. And it's just something that people don't really see. And I tell people that like, he can actually shoot, but no one really believes me. But now, since people can see it, I guess they'll believe me. Three or two. He got three. Hold oh, Is game three or two? How can we say, is it three? You said two. You know, today he was, he was hitting. He was hitting. I, that's one thing I can say. He, he was hitting. He was shooting consistently. You know, people try to say, oh, he's known as, he couldn't shoot free throws, but he was hitting those threes. I took off from out of bounds. I took off from out of bounds. I took off from out of bounds. Hey, no, man. You cheat me now. You cheat me? No, I took off from out of bounds. Out. I'm ISO every play. You gonna play with a do rag on you? You really from New York? That's what you want. You give me some money. Oh. Greg did jelly before like it all started. <laughs> we wasn't even playing in no weak league either. We, we, we weren't playing nobody weak. He had 30 straight off three. Are you gonna miss? Are you gonna miss? You got hit? We about to play right now. Yo, I really broke my finger, bro. Let me see that. Here, let me see. We about to play right now? Yeah. All right, then I'm gonna take this off so I can serve you. Today, we're hooping with Migos, Quavo. That's a good friend of mine. We found each other on Instagram. When I started to blow up in like the followers and I was verified, he found me. I've been a big Migos fan for a, a minute. Migos in the building, Quavo Huncho. We met in Miami during spring break. Him and his crew, they always talk smack about who's the best on the court. And like right when I saw him, he's like, you don't want to play me one on one. You don't want to play me five on five. And I didn't know if he could hoop or not, but I seen video, he could shoot. So now this is our first time we're playing his crew. I got some of my friends here. We're all just gonna go at it. He's obviously gonna talk. Everyone in this crew is gonna talk, but I'm just ready to see what they can do.
came in here and beat them. A game of 15, it's our first game, it's their fourth game, they lost. We got a dub today.
We had everybody come out. It was fun. Rail can't guard me. He already saw what happened when I guarded him, got it off the glass. Quavo and Rail, they came to play. They was better than I thought they were. We definitely playing again. I mean, they was talking all on social media. When we met in Miami, they was talking, and they did come to play, so. They all right, but we gonna play again, definitely. V ain't come to play. I still got a good lay. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. 6'10". Okay, you gonna get down, huh? Yeah. Committed to Arizona. Okay, yeah, they was shooting up there. Yeah. What's your name? Sharif O'Neal. Thank you, I'll see you. Got games tomorrow, three games. I'm gonna try something crazy tomorrow. I don't know who we play. I mean, that don't really matter to me. <laughs> Look at him. He's NBA, this is NBA ready right here. You know what I'm saying? This my little cousin, then this my little cousin. <laughs> then this my nephew. <laughs> no, 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 this is my son right here. We balled out, Hancho was going crazy. It was fun. It was fun, you know, once I got my team together. Once I got my team together, two and up. Money Real couldn't stop us. Quavo Huncho couldn't stop us. We just went two Huncho! and up. Nah, Real was, was, was going off though. Nah, anyway, Real was, was a bucket, but they Rail didn't beat us though. You feel me? That's the that's the result you need. The W or the L. We got the W. That's what we got. Celebrity pickups, man. Any celebrity who want this work, just let us know. Reed versus anybody. I'm calling it. He don't gotta call it. Whoever want that one on one, let him know. Cause he's balling. We out here at LMU. Just had some summer games. Sharif was in eighth grade. I remember scrimmaging at a, at a clinic. A young man was really, really getting physical with him because Sharif is more on the lean side as a big man. And he came across the lane and gave him a good elbow. So the next play, Sharif did not brace that, that physical energy that defender was giving. He was just more passive. And in the middle of the game, I called timeout because I saw that continuously happening. I let him know, like, this is what you're up against. Taller than the guy, but he's going to get more physical with you. And have you ever seen somebody that your father did not embrace that contact with? And, you know, he said no. And I said, so don't you ever let nobody do that to you and you embrace that contact, you give it back to him on the other end of the corner just like he tries to give it to you. That day, you know, it sticks with me, especially with Sharif. I, I saw growth. As the game went on, he started to embrace the contact and be more effective on both ends of the court. And to this day, it's gotten stronger and stronger since then. The O'Neal's are a very tight bond together as, you know, as a family, one big unit. For the most part, they're all at each other's games, supporting each other. Kid looking good out here too. First game as a freshman, looking good. Yeah, Shakir, he had a few games. First couple games, and you know, starting his high school career, he just left eighth grade. Just getting used to the pace and, and how intense it is, and you know, kids were diving on the floor and stuff like that. <laughs> he made some nice shots. Hit the two key free throws to end the game. It's all a process, you know, just like Sharif, you know, entering ninth grade, you know, and just, just finding out, you know, what the next level looks like. He's going to have a great high school career and great basketball career. You got to go where you got dunked on, though. <laughs> Watch yourself. Watch your poster. Look at your highlight tape. There you go, Greg! <laughs> Eat that up, Greg! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back next Friday too. I don't know if the rims were low or if I was just bouncy today, but I was I feel like my head was at the rim. My man was going crazy, caught like three, four bodies. He's out here going hard, treating him like some little boys. V actually told me this today. He's gonna miss my high five. All right, V. I got you. So, you gotta here, show I gotta up. show. So so look, man was gonna be like my this. man, he got the <laughs> Entry pass. Felt him out. Oh. I mean, he was like, "Come here, yeah." 
That's that was probably my favorite one. Drop step, Shaq package, you feel me? <laughs> Had to drop him off. The alley was crazy. I think I feel like it got you started though. Like, boom. Yeah. Boom. Bro, he was over the room. Like, Hang out. Like, I just couldn't I check my boy. Honestly, I ain't doing one. Honestly, time. right. <laughs> I was on my on my pop stuff with two hands yeah, all day. That's the most fun I had at some high school games in a minute. You got a lot of gear from the USA? Tell me why I made the team, right? Two days before. And the Arizona coach told me. And they picked Brandon over you? No, no, no. I was li I'm literally on the roster. Ah. Bro, still. Can't shoot. You can't shoot. Ain't down me now, too. Greg, you not in this? I'm going to make it. I'm going to let you shoot every time. Because you're going to miss it sooner. Yeah. Hey, big man! <laughs> big man! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Damn, bro. Crazy, he would be, he's like super far away. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's how, when we played modern day, I shot it. He wasn't even near me, he still blocked it. Oh. Lay up. Yeah, sure. Watch, well, you gonna make it again. Yeah, sure. Hey, go get up. <laughs> I'm out of jelly. Jelly fam, this kid from Jelly fam. Quavo and Rail are still in town. They said we gotta do it again. I know how they're gonna play this time, so this time I'm coming two times better. I think everybody's gonna play better. I got Bowl here. He's back in town. He was just at USA. They've been talking for a couple weeks now. They're actually better than I thought they were. Quavo, everybody knows Quavo can play now. That, that video blew up. Seeing it everywhere, every day. It's been going on for ever since we played it. People keep posting it, like LeBron posted it. Everybody thinks Quavo can play. I don't think nobody expected him to be that good. He scored on me one time, everybody's kind of making a big deal out of it, but I mean. Yeah, what, what happened the next play though? The next play, I hit a fadeaway from the top of the key, but nobody wants to acknowledge it, but it's all good.
know, they came and played one game. I think if he would have won, he would have stayed, but he had to go to Vegas. And it was fun. He came. He was he was on fire. Was it hard guarding him, James? Yeah, I was, I was surprised. I was like, wow, okay. Yeah, you can go. Like, yeah. Acting out with jump shots, tight handle. Oh, it's very impressive. Hey, we usually play the 13, but that time we were going to 15. Came in and just shot it over bowl and made it. I got that on camera. See a beast. Supreme God. Supreme. Here, I might as well show my heat while I'm at it. We gotta look at Greg heat too. Oh, Asher has on heat. My family. Is this my dad's? This is my dad. Hey, let me show my pants. Shirt. What shirt is that? What do you think? Why so long? Whose shirt do you think it is? It's my dad's. Look at where it made. Let me get the USA bag. Oh, they're gonna call me that. They ain't call me at all. USA. It's all good. I'm gonna play for the North Korea team. South Africa and play for that team. Huh? You gonna say that with a problem? Can we go play with, right. Can we go play with uh, the Bahami, the Bahamian team? I made the team. That's what we going. We going to the Korea team. We changed the pants. Why don't I go to Canada? Can oh yeah, we go play for Canada team. It's Shaq Diesel, a.k.a. the Big Homie.